What's up, guys? I'm Vern. I'm Hannah. Kane. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Poggy Boy Production Channel. Today we're doing another unboxing box. video. You Open guys, the box. You guys ready? Yeah. All we're right. unboxing a hologram. Or something like that. Thingy. Keep watching. <laughs> All right, guys. Why are you underneath the table? Let's do it. We're gonna start unboxing. You guys ready? Yes. And as KB Kane already said, this is some kind of hologram. It just came out from Kickstarter. Of course it is. But and, uh, it's always Kickstarter. Always Kickstarter. Yeah, they have all the cool products. So go ahead, Hunter. Be the, be the man to open it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Magic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looking at glass. Looking glass portrait. Ooh. I guess I like that. Already, yo. What are you waiting for? Already Hold open on. it. We're just showing <laughs> our, our guests what yeah. it is. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, looking around the box is nothing. There's absolutely nerd? nothing. Just the title and the logo, and then and then it's just a bunch of black. And <laughs> <laughs> That's right, kid. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Let's open yeah. it now. We are opening yes, it. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Whoa. Okay, what? What does it say, there, Henry? It says, your first, what's this? Your first personal holographic display. Say hello to your first personal holographic display. There yeah, you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I forgot to say hello to. Say hello, uh, say say hello to. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing in that box? Nope, it's just the top. And uh, pretty much, this is this is the case. Oh. It had comes with a case. Carrying and a case, yeah. Carrying case. All right, this is. It's pretty nice, right? Is yeah. there anything inside? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna. Open it. I'm gonna check in this. What is inside? What is this? Like instructions and like uh, how to start oh, creating. Oh wait, there's a, something inside. Is USB charger. Oh. What is it? Okay. I will take it out. And oh, there's a, there's another. The charger here, kind of Type C. Heavy. That's it, right? Yeah. I mean, this wasn't a USB charger. HDMI, if you wanna, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, put in your TV oh, or PC or, PC. or laptop or something. Yep. And, and so, what was inside this case is so yeah, this is the holographic 3D thingamajig. <laughs> Let's go. Up it's a here. holographic thingamajiggy. Yeah, there is actually uh, nothing uh, inside. It looks like there's a TV, but it's actually really empty. Like, yes. It kind of looks like an old TV. <laughs> no, it looks like a glass. A TV that has a screen is glass. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, um, TV. first time for everything. So, we're going to read the instructions for a little bit. I think that's the stand. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. this time we have to speed it up. Yeah, and then uh, we're going to read the instructions and uh, see what we can do. I think I have to download an app, so we'll be right back. Over the last six years, we've developed a new type of technology. It works like a magical looking glass. By controlling the direction of millions of rays of light, what you see through it becomes as real as the world around you. This is the Looking Glass Portrait, your first personal holographic display. Glass Portrait 
generates dozens of perspectives simultaneously. This results in a three-dimensional hologram that floats out of the display, viewable by multiple people. No headsets required. I'm Sean Frain, and I'm part of the team that created the world's first holographic display back in 2018. And it's all been leading up to this. This is a memory machine. And it's a tool for holographic exploration. It's a new canvas for 3D creators, all wrapped into one device. This is the Looking Glass Portrait, and it's your first personal holographic display. So let's take a closer look at what you get inside the box. This is the actual size of the Looking Glass Portrait. As you can see, it's about the size of the palm of my hand, a little bigger than that. And you could just set this up on the tabletop of your choice and have holograms just rotate through. I mean, this is pretty cool and makes a great display. On the back, you get the base plate, which is magnetized. You could just take it out and then attach it to the bottom like so, so that it will stand and prop up on your table. On the side of your looking glass, you have these three buttons. These buttons actually allow you to control the holograms manually. So if you wanted to scroll through it back, with, back, you just press the button. If you want to scroll forward, you press this button. And if you just want to keep it playing, you just press this button. Usually, the holograms will loop automatically, so you don't have to press it. But if you're the impatient type and you want to see a, a hologram, you just press forward, back, or forward. On the other side of that, you have the HDMI plug. This is where you would plug your HDMI for your MacBook, your PC. This is type C for the power and you got your audio input. That's your on and off button. And you got your LED indicator tells you when it's on and off. And over here, this is for your edge lighting. This is the lighting for your hologram on the side. You'll see it when we turn this on. So let's power this on and take a look at a few holograms. Here is the Looking Glass Factory website. This is where you can pre-purchase your Looking Glass portrait. As you can see, they also sell different types of Looking Glass from 8K to 4K Gen 2. If that is more up your alley, go for it. But this is beyond my price range. Make sure you download Holoplay Studio on your Windows PC or MacBook. This will allow you to create and upload your own holograms into the Looking Glass portrait. Unfortunately, my unit it's not detecting it as a monitor on my PC so it's definitely not the HDMI cables because I've tried different types so I will have to reach out to Looking Glass support and hopefully they can get this fixed either through software support or maybe even replace it Looking Glass Factory if you're listening get back to me please thank you all right so um, we did a little bit of snooping around and digging around to see how to work this uh, so Henry got the kickstand working in the back see how it's always on portrait mode it doesn't do landscape uh, and uh, we thought you needed to charge it but it's actually just powered through wire right? yes. type C so Hannah go ahead and turn it on sure is the light on yes there. they can't see it I don't see it um, it's still turning on yeah it's still turning on but yeah. well but you really need to see this close up I'm gonna see if I could get a couple of close-up shots for you guys and see, 
because you, you can't really see depth 3D with camera. Mm -hmm. But when you look at this thing, it looks like it really just does pop out. <laughs> right, Tanner? Yeah. yeah. You guys impressed? Yep. You could also uh, do uh, okay. video calls with this. And I believe if you bought the tier, like specific tier or whatever, or more expensive oh, I, tier. I, I never heard you, of this. So you, <laughs> you get, you get uh, like the rail and the camera to get that depth 3D and then portray it over here. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, you're probably looking at our pictures that are rotating here. They got an astronaut, a few kids. This is all 3D. There's no glass in the front. It's just kids. pretty amazing to watch. So. Uh, I'm gonna play around with this and see if there's a it's app for it. If you're bored. And then I'm gonna try to download some pictures here, and maybe a follow-up video or something or some, something like that, and, and play around with the hologram itself. So, what do you think, Hannah? Looks pretty cool. Like, put your face in there, a family portrait. Yeah, it'll be in 3D. 3D. <laughs> 3D. So this is a Kickstarter. Um, I think they are in pre-order mode now. So if you were to buy it you'd have to be waiting online because I think they are still fulfilling shipment so I don't know how long this will take but I will leave the link down below so if you're interested you can buy it I'd, I'd say it's worth it so it's pretty pricey though so if you have the money it's about 200 plus I think oh really? yeah I don't know. yeah but for the, this piece, piece of kit it's pretty good okay, it's really nice so anyone have any anything else to say? KB? Yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> Henry, you have anything? Yeah, I do. Please don't forget to follow, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Ding, 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 ding. See you guys. Bell button. Bye. Beep, beep, Bye. Ding, ding. Bye. Bye. <laughs>